Hey guys, BG Mike here, but first I gotta do a backflip. Oh, you, you think, you think this is a clickbait, right? Is that what you think? Well, watch this, watch this, freaking, you're about to be witness. I'm not even gonna get out of my chair, okay? <laughs> it's true. I'm really gonna do it, all right? Just watch, you hater. One, two. Oh my god, I almost fell there. Uh, it's okay, please do leave a comment if you were impressed by that. Now, one of the top comments I've probably got- It's, it's actually, it's not. It's not. It's probably not true. I've gotten a lot of comments, okay, about- Michael, would you please play Five Nights at Freddy's, please? Please, please, please play Five Nights at Freddy's, please. In fact, I'm gonna- I'm gonna actually look how many people have, have asked me to do that. I dare you to play Sister Location. I was wearing my Five Nights at Freddy's shirt. Remember guys, it's top comments. Wow, I'm just really loving the- the comment- uh, sort- the sorting comments, uh, uh feature on TubeBuddy. It really works. Uh, could you play Five Nights at Freddy's? Look, it's that right there. I dare you to play Five Nights at Freddy's. Please play Five Nights at Freddy's! Have you played Five Nights at Freddy's before, Mike? Five Nights at Freddy's Toys and Transformers Scary says cool. So as you can see, this is clear what the fans want so now we're gonna deliver on that it says five nights at freddy's guys i don't understand what's going on i i clearly launched five nights at freddy's whoa i had no idea that five nights at freddy's looks so much like yandere simulator whoa wow I, why why haven't i played this game before what's wrong with me it looks pretty good. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good but i am i'm just a little confused though like i, th I thought there's jump scares and Five Nights at Freddy's, they're not really jump scaring me. Oh dear god, what is this? Oh my god, what is this? What is that? On the, what, it's so tiny. <laughs> okay, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Five Nights at Freddy's, clearly. I'm not, but like, I think it's so funny because like, Rico has purple hair. And I know there's purple guy. I've watched enough Matt Pat to know about purple guy. Uh, and everyone like, puts it in their thumbnails and stuff, I don't know. So that's Riku. It's that is perfect. Spot on. Welcome to Yandere Simulator Five Nights at Freddy's Edition by Ruben the Pig once again. Uh, I just happened to come across this and I thought a lot of people like Five Nights at Freddy's to watch the channel, so I thought I'd play the mod as well. A uh, link to Ruben uh, will be down in the description if you guys want to check check them out. Okay. I would say him or her, but I don't want to assume. Okay. Now I I I I have played Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay. Uh, I made one episode like a million years ago. You guys can check that out if you want. It's totally like bad <laughs> because like I just want to. It was an old, old video, so I didn't know what I know today. I mean, whatever, whatever you consider bad, maybe you consider the videos I make now bad. So I don't know. You judge. What in God's name is this though? <laughs> How is this Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh, it's Yendo. Of course, I should have known that. What is this thing? It seems to be a remake of Funtime Freddy, but with his right hand and no suit. Well, that it, it makes a lot more sense now. Some creepy music. It'd be way more enjoyable if I actually played Five Nights at Freddy's. I I'm not gonna lie though, the theories, the theories on them are pretty insane. Uh, I mean, everyone's seen, I know I talk about game theory all the time. You guys know the videos I made about that, but much like the Hell and Everything that I was talking about, uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, could also be like based on a true story, like about what happened at a restaurant. Pretty freaking crazy stuff. Uh, it's very addicting, even from a person that doesn't really play Five Nights at Freddy's. It's Freddy, the star of the show. Freddy Fazbear himself usually doesn't move unless you reach the last nights. See, I know this much that there's like a golden Freddy, right? I know that much, and it randomly appears. Okay, I, I definitely know that from playing uh, the Tattletale Five Nights at Freddy's thing. Uh, it's been a while. I bet you it's been updated. I should probably check. Hey, speaking of the devil, Golden Freddy, what is this thing? Is it a redesign of Fre Fredbear? Is it real? Does it have an endoskeleton? We don't know. I know a lot of YouTubers out there are kind of on the fence. Like, I know PewDiePie, for instance. Uh, I know a lot of people are probably bashing on him for the things that have been going on, but like, he would always say that he's like, he, he played Five Nights at Freddy's back, especially back then when it was like really, really popular. I mean, all these YouTubers would play Five Nights, Five Nights at Freddy's and like, they blew up because of it. And like, Peter Five was one of the people that didn't get scared playing the game, and he's like, I'm not gonna pretend that I'm scared. Uh, I, I don't, I totally get that. Like, when you're not scared, you're not scared. I, for one, am a chicken. And I get scared at lots of things, uh, even things that are not even freaking supposed to be scary. And I did play this game, it did scare the crap out of me. I'm just really bad at horror games, I guess. But I mean, this game looks as creepy. It's very, very creepy, okay? It makes you not want to go to Chuck E. Cheese, okay? Who are you and why are you? Is this, uh, wait, do I know this one? It's the clown or the, the mask, right? Right? Oh, that's, it's Funtime Ruben, of course. <laughs> He's obsessed with Funtime Freddy. Wait, is this the creator of the mod? 
Well, I knew that from last episode. Just in case you guys missed last episode, by the way, you could check it out at the eye over here. Um, crap, what did we play? I am very bad at memorizing things. Whatever we played, you can check it out. <laughs> I literally can't remember what's wrong with me. Why are they all, like, dark? They look like they've been set on fire. It's really creepy. Look at them. Phantom Balloon Boy? The Phantom version of Balloon Boy. Phantom Chica? See, I don't know. There's so many things I don't know. Phantom Mangle? There's- so there, there's phantom versions of everything. I did watch people play, uh, what, what was it? Sister- was it Sister Location? Or was it the, uh, Joy of Creation? The- I seen PewDiePie play that one, and that one was really freaking- it looked fun. Scary. It was like a- it was cool because it was like a mixture of a bunch of other things. So this one- yeah, I know this one's Chica, right? The bird. Let's eat! Is the only female animatronic in the restaurant from the first game usually lurks around the right side of the office. Wow, so they actually have their own, like, stations, I guess? They only go certain directions? See, I didn't know that. This is Foxy, obviously. It is unknown why Foxy hides behind a curtain in a private- or pirate cove. <laughs> private cove. Same thing. But people suspect he's a good guy. I wonder why he's out of order. He's not a good- nobody in this game is a good guy, okay? They attack you and kill you. I guess it's like rumored that they're- I don't know, I could be wrong, but it's like rumored that they're all children, right? Like the souls of children, uh, like in these animatronics, which is a really creepy story. It's honestly a lot like Hell of Neighbor, like Tattletail, you know? We go into details with those, so I mean, I, I'm sure I would have gotten into this game, but it's just like, I'm only like, what, five years late or something crazy like that? Back then when I played it, you know, my channel like a, a million years ago, two, two years ago, it was old then, and I was already too late. This is Bonnie. Is the only animatronics without eyebrows in like the whole games? Oh, please donate to give him some eyebrows. Anyway, he seems to be the most active animatronic in some or in most of the game. It may be because Scott had nightmares about him. Wow, is that true? Did, 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 did the developers actually have nightmares about these characters? What are you? What are you? Are you a phantom too? What are you? Springtrap. Oh god. Someone someone give Springtrap a bath? Propa guy was trapped in this suit after the spirits of the dead children chased him into it. Oh, so was that like a confirmed thing, huh? I gotta read that again. Purple guy was trapped in this suit after the spirits of the dead children chased him into it. Okay, yeah, so supposedly purple guy was the murderer, right? I mean, I'm not trying to spoil it for you guys. I, I, I'm very clueless on this stuff. But a purple guy, I think, was the janitor or something, or the person that killed these people. I don't remember if he was a janitor, but, uh, and the kids drove him into this. Well, he definitely looks beat up. <laughs> Freaking poor guy. I mean, not poor guy. He killed people. He has been rotting in the suit for about 30 years. Now he returns in Frazbear's Fright. Is that another game that I don't know? I know there's a lot of fan games. There's even a Five Nights at Animes. <laughs> I don't know. Would you guys like to see me play Five Nights at Freddy's? Like, I, I really doubt that a lot of people would want to watch it. Because so many people, it's so overdone now. I just don't think I could honestly get into it. I have a feeling this is like not the mod. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Last time I tried to activate the mod, it like crashed, so I don't know. Why are they so short though? Can I take pictures of them? <laughs> well, that's disgusting, you creep. Stop it. I'm not trying to. She's so short. I have to lay down on the ground. This is Bonnet. Why is Bonnet so small? Who is this little puppet thing? Seems to be a recolor of Bon Bon. Maybe it was a puppet that belonged to a new animatronic. Oh, they're puppets. Well, that makes sense why they're so small, but they're god, they're creepy. Bitty Bab? God, freaking someone kick it in the face! Here, let me kick it in the face! I can't kick, crap! Babies, little babies are afraid of baby. They seem to be easily get bored. Ballora is activated by sound, so it's best to keep the noise down. Ballora is scared of the scooper room and will not enter it. Sometimes you can hear her singing in the room. So I'm guessing those are from like sister locations, right? Right? Oh, well, that's not creepy. <laughs> it's fun time Foxy. It is unknown what the character's gender is, and it seems that you just decide. It is is activated by movement, so you better stand still. Yeah, yeah, I would this would be much more enjoyable if I actually What's played the games. Her? What's up with her? I need you to take one one second, Simpy. Okay? And I need you to stand up and I need you to stop keep your eyes off the he, he goes back to his book. And and look around, look at those little pieces of crap down there. Look at that. Can we get a zoom in on them? And you have the audacity to say, what's up with her? I mean, apparently you don't even seem to notice all the people, uh, cosplaying around you. And if they're not cosplaying, then they're actually dead people in, in animatronics. And you're saying, what's up with her? When will, when will it stop with you, senpai? Well, clearly, guys, our life is in danger right now. So, you know what we need to do? They're animatronics, right? They're, they're machines. Has anyone ever considered that they need to have, they need to have water poured on them, right? Which is what we're gonna do. 
Spoiler alert. Oh, they hang out. They hang around up here. Why is there so many of them? I didn't realize there were so many forms of the same person. What do I talk about? I watched Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> There's like 50 forms of everyone. I slipped. Wait, who did I wet? Who was this? Circus baby, take that, you piece of crap. I hope you die. There, I I'm stopping. I'm stopping this now. Well, I never would have guessed that she would actually go and take a bath. <laughs> but there's more of them here. Holy crap. So I'm guessing Ruben the pig like added every form. And I mean, it's pretty cool, especially if you're like a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm sure you could really appreciate this. I just wish I could. I'm just kind of spectating at this point. So this is Spring Bonnie, one of the first spring uh, lock suits and one of the first animatronics that appeared at Fred, Fred Bear's family diner. Seems to be used for the murders of the children. Yeah, very creepy story once again. And apparently there's like different generations of the same one. Why are you depressed? Why are you depressed? Huh? Oh god. I'm not trying to be lewd or anything, but like... I need to know who you are. Plush trap, another piece of crap. This little creature is a toy of the Spring Bonnie animatronic. If you wiggle too much, he will pinch your finger. Ow, my finger. The most annoying character in the whole series. His laugh is so annoying, and when he gets in your room, your torch goes and Foxy will get you. That is- is this from the second game or the third game? I can't remember. I- I vaguely remember, like, stuff like that. Has Razboski played this? I know- I know Papa Raz, uh, can get all into this if he hasn't played it. I'm pretty sure he has. But I know that- that fool- that fool plays all of the Five Nights at Freddy's. I- I've seen some of his older videos too, and I know that he used to be really, like, really into Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm telling you, like, anyone who played that game back in the day, like, just blew up. It was crazy. I know even Markiplier got like a huge boost in, in subscribers and I think he ranks number one for uh, what Five Nights at Freddy's? Uh, let, me, let me actually look. Yep, three years ago, 61 million views, god. I only have a hundred million views. I mean, I, I don't say only, I'm very thankful for that, but like I- Oh, okay, I remember, I have 170 million. Which, by the way, thank you guys, that's absolutely amazing, by the way, but like to get almost like a, a half of that, a quarter, I, I'm not good at math. To get that many views in one video would be absolutely incredible. Three years ago, freaking, it's, it's insane. I think I like rake number one for Yandere Simulator. I th well, no, no, that's not true. That that is not true. I I know I do rank number one for a few things. Uh, I'm definitely in the top list of of rankings. I'm sure um, for for Yandere Simulator, and stuff. And I know a few other games. I just can't really remember. I honestly wonder if there's ever gonna come a game that that is gets as big as as Five Nights at Freddy's. Like Hello Neighbor was kind of like that, but I, I don't think it was nearly nearly as big. There's things like Tattletale and, and uh, Bendy. Well, I'd say Bendy's pretty big, but it just it doesn't. It seems like that things don't just they're not as huge as Five Nights at Freddy's. Like you know, it's like nothing gets 60 million views. I mean, granted, it was three years ago. Oh, what the heck? What? The <laughs> <laughs> what? They actually pull out. They actually pull out the dolls. What the heck? How did this happen? She's craning. Look at her. <laughs> this is a real person. Now, I don't have to know Five Nights at Freddy's to know that that's actually freaking cool, though. You actually got- How did this happen? Funtime Freddy. Seems to be obsessed with screaming at Bon Bon whenever he can. He seems to have a soft side and really cares for Bon Bon. Seems like someone may have a crush on Funtime Freddy. Is this- Is this Bon Bon? I actually already forgot. How do you hold- how do you get people to hold another character? Like, I don't even think it was possible. They may all be evil animatronics that want you to die. They want to stuff your corpse uh, in their bodies. Um, but they do have cell phones. They do have uh, cell phone providers. Uh, AT&T sponsors uh, killing machines. Uh, it's, you know, not just AT&T, Verizon, everyone else, okay? Think about that before you get that new iPhone coming out. So what does iPhones have to do with that? It would be really cool though if you can get like them to scare you or chase you. Kind of like something similar to the, the Fun Girl mod. You guys remember the Fun Girl mod? I believe that was by, uh, Mad Pie? Was it by Mad, Mad Pie? It's been so long. But like where they kind of chase you? That would be really interesting for a Five Nights at Freddy's mod. I think someone should jump on that, okay? It would kind of bring that... Five Nights at Freddy's mod to a whole novel level. Okay, so we can uh, go to the cutscenes and try to activate the mod, but last time we did it, it crashed, so I don't know if it's gonna crash again. Are we, oh, wait. Don't crash. It crashed. Come on, come on. So what's up, okay, what's the deal with these? Nightmare Foxy, the nightmare version of Foxy, hides in the closet and will slowly come out and attack you. I mean, I think Chuck E. Cheese would be better off if they had uh, animatronics like this. Just, that, that would be much better. The nightmare version of Chica slowly creeps into your room from the right door. Even if you don't check on her, she will send her cupcake to attack you. Oh, so even the, uh, the, even the cupcake's the evil piece of crap. Okay. 
Can I trust anyone? What about purple Riku? You evil piece of crap Riku. How dare you? The most evil thing he done was cheat on Kokini. I mean, that would have been, been kind of funny to make her purple woman. Is that a thing? It's probably not a thing. Well, his, his name is William Afton. The killer who uses a suit to kill children in the pizzerias. People think he killed the children to be with his son and daughter again after they died from his creations. He created the Funtime animatronics in order to kidnap children. I think he, I think this one appeared in, what, FNAF World? That 2-bit, is it the 2-bit one? Or I, I'm probably wrong about that. It's probably like, it's like a 2-bit game in one of the Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't know, I'm sure you guys are gonna like flood the comment section with a bunch of things, uh, because I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know, kind of more to play this just uh, for you guys that like Five Nights at Freddy's and happen to enjoy my channel and you like Gandary Simulator, so we just combine them. I don't know, I think there's like more stuff to this mod, but it won't let me activate it. Every time I try, it just crashes on me, so I don't know if I'm doing it right. Alright, you know what? It's time that I do a service to everyone. Clearly, th these are all evil, especially the little ones. God. One punch, John Derry's coming out. Give me a punch, come on. I'm gonna punch the little one. Come on. Dang it, I can't get that part. Who did that? Who did that? Yeah, you take out one, you gotta take them all out. Oh, hey, I know. That's the masked one that I was talking about before. What about all the deaths they cause? Are we not gonna talk about that? Oh, it's as soon as Yandere Chan, soon as One Punch Yandere kills someone, it's the end of the world. But they kill like, all sorts of people, you know, people that are trying to work their night jobs, okay? It's not easy. It's not easy being an adult that trying to earn a paycheck, which by the way, really wasn't that much. I, I did see how much he freaking earns and it sucks. If you're gonna put your life on the line, if you're gonna risk your life, you know, with these stupid animatronics working at a stupid job, Five Nights at Freddy's are... Pizzeria, whatever. Then you, you. I mean, I. You deserve at least twenty dollars an hour for that. I mean, more than that. I mean, can you really put a value on a life? Okay. So yeah, that's why I'm freaking trying to punch them. Come here. Freaking so short. Oh, dude. <laughs> come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. I saved a lot of people. I'm sure. Yeah, so what? They they were like, you know, I'm sure a lot of them were innocent children that didn't deserve what they they got. Yeah, we, you know. I, I uh, observed that, but now they're scary and demons. So I just I'm just doing my job. I'm just your fan friendly neighborhood beat shoe Mike but with bald headed Yandere Chan. I'm sorry, Ruben the pig. I like your mod, but you gotta go. Oh wow, you just went through the wall. <laughs> right? Am I am I gonna become an animatronic now? I'll just be a big scrub, just a round scrub. That's what I'll be. I'll just hop around. Don't get near me though, cause I'm evil. <laughs> ah, back at home. Just a normal day of school, and I grew my hair back. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, again, I, I probably should play Five Nights at Freddy just at least for funsies, okay? Yeah, I say that. Again, I hope that addresses the whole like, oh, please play Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, you know, I, it's just, I feel like I'm too late. And that's kind of what I've always thought. Unless you guys are just really dying for me to play, I might play it one day. But, you know, we'll see. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to check out Ruben the Pig. Today's scrub of the day goes to Pathetic Girl XXX. I know this highlighter isn't green, but I only have one opportunity. You know what? It's okay. I have pink hair sometimes, right? I love I love the memes, guys. Keep bringing the memes. Follow me on Twitter if you'd like to become scrub of the day. Tweet me stuff, and I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Bye.